Hello, in this video I'm going to uh, show you what Windows uh, 10, the next version after Windows 8.1 uh, will look like. So this is the desktop of Windows uh, 10 and it's a uh, Windows technical preview. It says evaluation copy and it's called build uh, 9841. So uh, let's take a look at the new features here that we can see in Windows uh, 10 technical preview. So this is the uh, default desktop wallpaper. As you can see, we have new icons in the taskbar area too. And for example, here we can see that there, there are two obvious new icons like the universal uh, search button and the task view button. And also the start menu is now there again. So if we click on that start menu, and as you can see, we can see the start screen and the uh, start menu list here. And the tiles are there as well. The functionality will be just the same like in start screen in Windows 8.1. So now you, we have also the power options there on the top that if you right click it, you can see that we have shut down and the start button. And here in the ta uh, start menu, you see the list of your apps. And uh, if you click on all apps, you will see the list of the other apps that you don't see in the start screen. So it's just like the older version of uh, Windows, like Windows 7 or Windows XP. So if now we click on back and here, as you can see, we can even see the PC settings is on the start menu and file explorer and the most frequent visited folders we can find here. Even we can open the file explorer. And I'm not sure if you are noticing in this video that actually this technical preview version of Windows 10 is very snappy. It's run very fast. So uh, I can just close and open application very fast. So let's still stay in the start menu. So uh, we are going now to the start menu again and click that. And here in the search everywhere box, in the search uh, um, box here, if I click and type notepad, it will show you the application that we have and the list of keywords that actually the Bing, the default browser of Windows 10, will uh, bring up the information of the specific keywords that you search in this search box. So let's back to the start menu again and click that and we will see about the tiles here that actually have the same functionality like in start screen in Windows 8.1. So you can do anything here with your tiles like in Windows 8.1. So for example, we take in the calendar uh, here, right click it and you see that we can unpin from start and pin to the taskbar, even uninstall the app and resize. So let's resize it to small. and the app tile will be just smaller like before and let's say now we want to pin it to uh, taskbar here so just click on pin to taskbar and it will just be pinned in your taskbar area on the button so uh, now if I want to uh, move the calendar app tile here on uh, around I can do that just the same way as you moving tiles from your start screen in Windows 8.1 so let's now move to the universal search icon there and here you can look for anything in your computer and in internet. So let's now type on Google to look for Google and as you can see it shows you the list of Google and other similar keywords like Google Chrome. So let's choose on Google Chrome and click that. So it will immediately open your browser, the default browser of your computer configuration and the internet browser of your computer at the moment, which is Internet Explorer and then Bing search engine. So uh, let's minimize this. And uh, now let's say now we open the store app. So here in store app, as you notice, now we have this uh, menu bar on the top, the right one. So which has the uh, minimize and the resize and the close button there. It's now on the top and sticky so you can always see that in the past or in the previous version you always have to hover uh, on the top to close your app like store and um, to hover again to resize or to hover again to minimize now you can always see the menu bar on the top so now um, let's move to the next feature which is called uh, task view so next to the universal search icon so let's click that the task view and now we can view the running apps that we actually have at the moment in our desktop at the moment we have store app and the internet uh, explorer 
So here actually you can switch back and forth between uh, one of your running apps like this uh, internet browser in task view. So now we open our internet browser and next is we're going to open the Windows Store which is already open and we can switch and uh, back and forth. Now you can also add a desktop here in uh, with the task view feature. So if you click on that plus button, uh, we can actually add a desktop. As you can see now we have two of them. Uh, first desktop, we have Windows Store and the Internet Explorer. And then if we click on the uh, task view again, we click on the next desktop. We now have a new desktop which is still empty. So let's now uh, click uh, open our file explorer in the second desktop and now we have file explorer in our uh, second desktop let me resize this window so now if we take a look on the uh, task view we can see that the first desktop has two applications uh, open and the uh, second desktop has one uh, application open which is File Explorer. So let's now uh, close the second desktop and y as you notice the File Explorer now it it is automatically added in uh, to the existing desktop which is the first de desktop. So as you can see now we have three things open in the first desktop. So the next feature is the ability to snap all of running apps to uh, one screen so you actually can view all of them in one screen uh, so it will snap the positions just uh, will be fit into your screen so let me now f uh, snap this um, file explorer to this side and then the windows store beneath the uh, file explorer and I have the internet explorer uh, here in the left side and as you can see now I can view all of them uh, all of this uh, window without closing one of them just a few others. The next is that I notice if you open one of your app, uh, let's say now I'm having Internet Explorer here, in the menu bar I see settings or some kind of preference of the uh, specific apps that you have at the moment. So you can see app comments and other settings here, even the settings uh, set uh, feature you can just access this in your menu toolbar. So uh, there was actually cool features and uh, I almost forget. So uh, this is what I really like. So if I go to start screen and look for um, common prompt, so I type here in the search uh, box CMD and then I see the common prompt in the list and I'm going to right click it and then I click on run as administrator and then just click it and then I'm going to hit yes and it will open a uh, common prompt as administrator here in my desktop and then I'm going to type something here like system info system info and then hit enter and I'm going to wait for a moment and then now I can actually select all of this text and then hit on control C to copy this and then I'm going to uh, look for notepad so search for notepad and I will see notepad and open it and then in this uh, notepad I'm going to paste the common prompt uh, content and I can actually do that which actually I could not do this in the previous uh, version of Windows at the moment so now uh, if I however want to do the other way around so let me type system info here notepad just to show you what I mean I'm going to copy this text copy it and then I'm going to close my notepad then I don't want to save it and then here in the common prompt I want to paste it and then however I could not paste it so uh, in the previous version you can actually paste from notepad to your common prompt but in this Windows 10 technical preview it will be the other way around and I hope it will be fixed in the next update store because it's only technical preview uh, version so it can be updated even though the interface and the func functionality as well so uh, thank you so much for watching this video and take care of yourself see you in the next video goodbye